Atrial fibrillation is a, actually a very common problem that affects millions of Americans every day. It occurs when the heart's rhythm uh, becomes irregular, okay? So the, the normal heart rhythm uh, beats in synchrony. So the atrial, um, the, there are four chambers to the heart, two in the top and two in the bottom. And the upper chambers uh, will squeeze the blood to the bottom chamber, which then squeezes the blood out to the body. So the heart uh, keeps its rhythm that way. When somebody has atrial fibrillation, what happens is that upper chamber uh, of the heart no longer contracts, it just fibrillates. So instead of squeezing blood into the heart, it just kind of quivers, okay? And when it quivers, what that translates to is, a, is usually a rapid and irregular rhythm in the bottom chamber of the heart, the main chamber that pumps the blood out to the body. Now what that can translate to is when the heart quivers up in that upper chamber, is that it can increase the risk of stroke. And the reason for that is, is that the blood is no longer pushed through the heart. It can stagnate in small pockets of the heart, which can cause clots. Those clots can then dislodge, travel up to the brain, and then cause a stroke. When we look at traditional treatments for atrial fibrillation, uh, there's a few components. The first is always a stroke risk evaluation. So we always will evaluate a patient who has atrial fibrillation stroke risk. And for those patients who it's appropriate in, we'll uh, uh, initiate blood thinners um, in order to reduce that risk of stroke. Once that stroke risk is evaluated, then we look at whether or not we're going to uh, put the patient back into a normal rhythm. And there's a few different ways to do that. Uh, one is with the use of medications, and then the other is with uh, what's called ablation. Christ has been a leader in the treatment of atrial fibrillation robotically for many years. Uh, we have uh, an advanced mapping and ablation system which is called Stereotaxis, but what we've just recently acquired and actually we're the first in North America to use is what's called the V-Sano uh, with V-Drive. Now what this is, it's a combination of both magnetically controlled catheter manipulation robotically via large magnets which are placed to the side of the patients, but also involves a robotic arm to control a catheter which uh, is run inside the heart. Now this robotic arm uh, controls the catheter and allows the operator to not only robotically control the ablation catheter, but also to manipulate the intracardiac ultrasound catheter, which increases the safety and the efficiency of the procedure to make the outcomes even better. What happens is when the patient is uh, placed on the table, uh, we will manually uh, access the veins. We'll place the catheters up into the heart. Once all the catheters are positioned into the heart, we then exit the room and go to the control module. The magnets are then positioned to the sides of the patients, okay, on, on each side of, uh, of the chest. And by controlling the magnetic field between the magnets, the catheter tip is then moved inside the heart. And this uh, results in a much more precise movement of the catheter and a much safer movement of the catheter because we're not pushing against the heart's tissue and, and, and the chance of perforating the heart is much less uh, by utilizing this method.